you're the first person I've heard say it. Most people overestimate what they can do in a year and underestimate what they can do in yes. 10 years. What is your strategy? Because that thing in me is like, I want to go for it, I want to run, but I also want to be patient. So how do you kind of keep your hand to the plow and keep going and get that right perspective? We're on our way to Saskatoon, Saskatchewan. That's Canadian for where we're going. To meet my dear friend and brother, Connor. Connor, like Terminator. Just kidding. But we are going to meet him, and it's gonna be fire, and go to uh, strengthen their, their community there. So, boom shakalaka. Yo. <laughs> yeah, nice. Yeah. Looking good. Finally, finally got rid of it all. Video blog, Connor. <laughs> He's the apostle of Saskatoon. Oh, Here buddy. we are at Awakening Church. We're gonna have a fun night. It's a weird to be on this side of, uh, of, of the, the most blog. famous worship blog. Ah, that's funny. <laughs> How are you doing? Most famous. Doing great. Yeah. Yeah. Doing good. Rolling. Going for it. Glad you're here. Stay tuned. Love and worship coach. How long have you been on? Just a few months. Really? Yeah, yeah, a couple months. Are you liking it? Loving it, man. What's your favorite part about worship coach? Oh, dude, just loving the, uh, I'd say just the awareness to the Holy Spirit yep. when it comes to, yep. so I spent, I did uh, school worship at Bethel. Okay, cool. A couple, a couple times, yep. actually, so. Um, yeah, I just love the mentorship thing and yep. digging into it. So, cool. Yeah. Are you on the Facebook group? Yes. Awesome, yeah, yeah. dude. So, awesome. Yeah, so I see all your posts. Cool. All the time, Very cool. Yeah, I just want to say thanks, dude. I'm glad you're on the worship coach <laughs> program, bro. So good. I'm glad. So I'm good. glad. So it is so yeah, good. So thanks for guys, being on. Man, when you're Thank you. Traveling around the world. Thank you. Thing, bro. It's awesome. Man. Thank you, bro. Yeah, I appreciate it. It's a dream of mine. So. You're next. Yeah, one of these days, bro. Nice to meet you. James, good yeah. to meet you. What up, bro? Nice to meet you. Where you guys from? We're from Saskatoon. Cool, cool. Yeah, yeah. Thanks, Thanks for really, coming tonight, thanks boys. For coming. Yeah, yeah, our I joy. Appreciate it. Very appreciate I'm blessed it. by your words. Appreciate it, man. God yeah. speaking. Cool. I definitely felt, uh, yeah, just God speaking through you to me, and uh, just about courage. Come on. Um, and and then just in my business right now, and and uh, yeah, like so, I I just like felt that uh, God was saying, hey, um, you know, change your perspective, on, change your perspective to my perspective, God's perspective, and and not the grasshopper's perspective. And, and you know and, and it's like um, and just how you shared about like prophesying about like changing your family family tree family uh, and, and just like legacy and yeah I definitely felt come on. That, that word come on you, and, you know the Bible says as a man thinks in his heart yeah. so he is yeah. numbers 13 the 10 spies saw themselves as grasshoppers right. and so they became grasshoppers they weren't able to go into the promised land but Caleb and Joshua saw themselves as giant yeah. slayers, and so they became giant slayers. Yeah. Dude, the way that we believe the Word of God on the inside of our heart, that is so powerful, man, because as we think in our heart, that's what we become. Your internal reality, it begins to manifest in your external reality. So we've got to keep this good in here. We've got to guard our heart because above, above all else, guard your heart because from it flow the issues of life. Love having you. So I wanted to ask you something. What's up? Uh, well, one of the things you've said on a couple of occasions that's <clears throat> just rocked me more than anything else. I, I would say, and you said it again tonight, was most people overestimate. You're the first person I've heard say it. Most people overestimate what they can do in a year and underestimate what they can do in yes. ten years. What 
is your strategy because that thing in me is like I want to go for it I want to run but I also want to be patient so how do you kind of keep your hand to the plow and keep going and get that right perspective for me it's micro hustle macro patience it's literally just being faithful with with what's in front of you right now keeping the vision in front of you and just understanding you know understanding empowers us with grace yeah the more we have understanding the more we have grace for that person or that situation when we understand it's going to take decades of hard work but it is going to happen right when we have that understanding we can hustle in the micro and be faithful and grind yeah. and be zealous in the now and have patience for the long haul right like for me it's just keeping the vision in front of us mm. staying faithful with little <clears throat> the analogy I give is everybody has this big tree that they want to chop down and the problem is Everyone's striking all over the tree. Right. Right? It's like hitting here, wow, that didn't work. Hit here, wow, that didn't work either. And everyone's getting discouraged. Yeah. But the ones who actually chop the tree down are the ones who keep striking consistently in the same place. Wow. Over and over and over and over.